Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about a great app from Blackmagic Design. This app has been available for iPhone for a quite a while now. Recently they have launched the same app for Android. As of now the app is supported only on Samsung and Pixel's high-end devices. I hope it will be available for more devices in future. Those of you uh, who don't know about this company, let me tell you the company is famous for high-end uh, movie cameras and they are software for color grading called DaVinci Resolve. You can see lot of uh, high-end movie cameras, very expensive movie cameras are available from that company. And their software is also used in many Hollywood movies for color grading. So by default, if you open the app, you will see the um, camera view is in landscape mode. Although you can hold your phone in vertical orientation. And if you want to get that landscape orientation, then you have to rotate your mobile and tap on this one. Then it will change the orientation to the landscape mode. So in this video, I will walk through the app uh, with my S23 Ultra and discuss the good and bad things of this app. Uh, the current app version I am using is 1.0.1.0.1. Uh, Let's go outside and check the app in details. Okay, let me start from the left. The first option is the lens selection. If we tap on this lens, we can see several uh, different lenses are there. Uh, the number and type of lenses will vary from mobile to mobile for s23 ultra we can see these options and this 22 mm is the main 200 megapixel sensor this is the wide and this is the 3x optical zoom and this is the nx optical zoom lens there are two front facing lens also uh, so this mobile has only one front facing lens so one is for the normal one and one is for the ultra wide mode of the front facing camera the next option is the fps which is pretty straightforward you can uh, scroll this bar to select the required frame rate the after that there is another option for the shutter speed you can change the shutter speed by similar way Obviously, we should keep the shutter speed twice the frame rate for perfect motion blur. Uh, that is why I prefer to lock the shutter speed by tapping on the lock button here. So that the shutter speed will not change. Uh, we cannot change iris here because this camera does not have any variable iris. The next one we can change is the ISO. So we can select the ISO and you can see there are some uh, templates are also there you can directly switch to that value I will go back to uh, 50 uh, I will not touch white balance and tint and you can see this is now uh, we can record at 4k from here but unfortunately we cannot uh, change this option from here this, we have to change the resolution from the settings let me start the right side menus the first one is for different types of overlay the first circular one if i tap on that one and switch it on you can see all the sky is uh, like stripes that means it is uh, setting the highlight portion of the scene the next option is the focus overlay if we go there and tap it on we can see what are the elements that are in focus so if i take my hand here you can see some red portions are there so it can detect the focal region and highlight those things with red colors i will just switch it off now the next one is for different types of guidelines if i switch it on and if i tap on the first one this is for the maintaining rule of third guideline and next one is enabling two cursor and if i tilt the camera you can see you can detect the tilt of this camera 
with these two cards sir so this is also very helpful uh, another one is just another cursor and this is the center dot also so i'll just switch it off for now the after that we have for the top and bottom black bars you can see if i switch it off this top and bottom black bars are gone so you can switch it on for cinematic look the most interesting one is the bottom one and if i switch it on you can see there are a lot of colors and left hand side we have that color bar that indicates the exposure so this mode is called false color mode with this we can see the properly exposed area on the scene the properly exposed area should be shaded with gray color like the ground you can see the next main option is that let me switch it off first the next next main option is for this uh, focusing thing you can take manual control of the focus by tapping on the auto and then you can just you can change the focus of this scene i'll just put it in auto the one after this one is the exposure control as i have locked the shutter speed uh, we can only change the iso from here but uh, let me first unlock this shutter speed once then go to this exposure then we can see we can change the exposure value like a dslr camera and it is changing the shutter speed also and you can check the iso is now 10 but unfortunately if i lock the shutter speed to to 60 for proper motion blur and go to exposure and then you can see we cannot go beyond 50 50 is the minimum you cannot have access of the 10 iso so this is the limitation when you will uh, lock the shutter the one below is for the stabilization by default it always off i don't know why but you can switch on the optical stabilization from here i believe the standard stabilization is for the EIS and this is for the OIS I will show you some sample for the stabilization okay this video is recording with that black magic camera app and we can see this how the stabilization is working now uh, the optical stabilization is on from the app but still you can see the stabilization is not as good as the samsung's original camera app stabilization the shutter speed is 1 by 60 frame rate is 30 and we have iso 50 you can check the exposure of the scene also and you can see most of the scene is overexposed the stabilization is very good compared to that black magic app and the next one is for the zoom this is digital zoom this is also not perfect you can see the zoom is continuous up to 2x and then it stopped and only after 3.5x it started again and it is going up to 8x and this is also digital zoom it is not changing the lenses the last option is for uh, giving the take name a number of shots number of scene whether it's exterior or interior day night scene and that's all as of now we are working on the camera tab the media tab is for accessing the already record contents the chat option is for chatting with collaborator if you have cloud account and with that collaborator you can chat with them and they can also edit your video remotely this video has already become long so I will discuss only a few important things inside the settings tab. In the record section the first option is the codec and the H264 is good for compatibility where HEVC is for optimal quality of the video. Also there is an uh, option to choose the color space between Rec 709 or HLG 10 there is a difference between these two video mode check the histogram there and this is for HLG 10 if I go to rec 709 you can see this histogram changed drastically 
I would recommend the deck 7 or 9 for color space if you are not planning to do any color grading in post. In the camera section, the first option is for the vertical video option. If I enable this app will allow you to record vertical videos for Insta Reel or TikTok. Let me show you if I click that one and then go to camera mode and then if I rotate the mobile hope you are able to see this so this is in vertical video mode I will go back another important option is the lock current orientation option this one if enable the video app will start in landscape mode by default audio tab is self explanatory in the monitor tab we can configure the focus assist color and guide line opacity and other things for the live view the settings inside the media section are important for those who want to connect online cloud account from blackmagic design also you can enable whether to save location data in metadata or not by clicking on this button in the preset section you can save your current settings as a preset and you can use that one later the black magic cloud is again if you want to connect your account online the reset option is to reset the settings of the app lastly about tab is for checking the app version and their official website so in conclusion i can say this app has a lot of option to shoot professional video but the camera lens and the sensor have their own limitations on one hand it has very good exposure control compared to Samsung's own app. On the other hand, this app has a horrible stabilization system. The pro video mode is still a better option for video recording compared to this app. If this app can give the option of raw video recording and fix the optical stabilization in future, then it would be a better option for professional video making. Thank you for watching. If you find the information of this video useful, please consider subscribing. If you want to know more details about the app, please ask me in the comment section.